Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. In today's video, we will be looking at whether a person is an intuitive feeler, sensor, or thinker. So if you want to know about facial expressions and how facial expressions are connected to personality type, this video is for you. And if you want to get your own visual profile, you can get it by clicking the link down below. Now, in this video, we'll be going down some of the most well-paid celebrities. So we'll start with Kylie Jenner. And the thing I want you to notice is, first, her cheeks are relaxed, but her facial expressions, her forehead is tense. Now, why is this? And this is because this type is sensory and because this type is feely. So sensing is typically mo no most noticed in the eyes and in the forehead and in the brows. So how a person holds their forehead and how they squint and how they look with the eyes of the person. Sensory types have very direct expressions and they have a tense expression in their forehead or in their eyes when they look at you. That means when they look at you, they give you their fullest attention. They listen to you directly. They hear what you say. They hold their head firm while looking at you. And this is just a signal to show that, to you that they are giving you 100% of their attention and focus. When an intuitive looks at you, it's slightly different. And we're gonna try to find an intuitive here. So, okay, let's look at, for example, Tyler Perry. What you already notice with somebody like Tyler Perry here is his forehead is more open. His gaze, his brows, everything signals openness, but relaxed openness. His forehead, his brows, and his expression is relaxed. And that is a sign of intuition, this kind of uh, fantasizing openness, this kind of imaginative openness, this kind of, oh, what's happening? What's going on in the world? This is really interesting. I'm really curious about this. This kind of openness that also creates this kind of fluidity to a person's eye contact because this person looks curious about you, but they also look curious about what's happening behind you. And they also look curious about what's happening over there. So this kind of intuition, intuition really just takes over the, the eyes and the expression and the squint and all those characteristics. Now, perhaps easier to read is uh, feeling versus thinking. And I said feeling creates this relaxation in the cheeks. You can see that in Kylie Jenner's expression, it's kind of uh, softness to the expression. It adds a softness to the expression. And this is most noticed in extroverted feeling types. If you look at somebody like Kanye West, you can see a similar kind of relaxation, like the, there is no aggression in the face, there is no tenseness. Focus is on the shin, and the shin is often kind of hanging down. And that's often a sign of introverted feeling, this hanging down the shin. While well, intro to thinking types tend to kind of tense their shin while they listen to you like, hmm, what are you saying? Is that true or false? Uh, often the introverted feeling types tend to kind of lower their mouths like to signal listening. So introverted feeling types that create this relaxation, they help to kind of disarm you and they kind of invite you to talk. So when you're around an introverted feeling type, it's much easier to talk because of this expression of signaling of I'm listening to you. I hear what you say. I'm curious. I want to know more. I care. Now, if you look at thinking types, here I have you some good examples. Roger Federer, already some more tension in the cheeks and in the shin, already a bit more of a hard lines in the face, already a bit more direct. Okay, the lines are not the most important thing, but just that the face is a bit more squared rather than round. The roundness of the face of a person that is typically a sign of feeling, while linearity of the face creates more of a thinking appeal. So this gives more clean expressions and it can translate to a more clean face or a more clean kind of style. And it signals just being more objective, being more impartial, and being more disagreeable. So thinking types signal being more disagreeable, being less open to collaborate, less open to like you <laughs> immediately, less open to be nice to you, just because they are more direct and they're more, they're more prepared to say no or to go against you if they think that's the right thing to do. Now, um, you can see this also in Lionel Messi's kind of hmm, hmm, critical expression. You can see that in uh, yeah, people like Arnold Schwarzenegger with that really strong extra thinking appeal. You can see that in all thinking types. It's just 
what you're looking for is really relaxation in the face versus tension in the face. So if it's tension around this area, it's thinking. And if it's tension around this area, it's sensing. If it's relaxation around this area, it's intuition. And if it's relaxation around this area, it's feeling. That's all you need to know to figure out if somebody is an intuitive or a sensor based on their facial expressions. And now, once again, if you want to get your own facial personality profile, click the link down below. And otherwise, let me know if you want more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next video.